Hello and welcome to a new video on SQL Server. In this video, I'm going to show you how to uninstall or remove a SQL Server instance. So you can go to the apps and features uh, window, scroll back uh, to find Microsoft SQL Server. For me, uh, if you have been following my videos, I have installed SQL Server uh, 2019, this one, 64 bits. So click on, uh, when you find your version of uh, SQL Server, click and install, and install again. Say yes to the user account control. Choose remove we are not going to add or repair we are going to remove now it's going to ask us which uh, instance you want to remove or maybe you want to remove the shared features so if I go to the SQL server configuration manager As you can see here, I have three instances and they are all stopped. I have uh, one called SQL 03, one is SQL Express and the one, the one is MS SQL Server. So I want to remove SQL 03. So make sure it's stopped. Okay. Choose it from the drop down menu here, SQL 03, click next. Choose which features you want to remove from this uh, instance. Let's choose everything. Select all. Next. Uh, sorry, here you don't want to uh, to remove the shared features. Just remove the database engine services for the SQL. 03 instance if you remove these features they will not be available for the other instances the client tools the client uh, tools backward backwards compatibility and the client tools sdk so just remove the database engine for the sql 03 instance click next and then you have a summary of what this operation is going to do it's just going to remove the uh, database engine for SQL 03 instance and make sure this is what you want and click remove and the process of removing the database engine for this instance is going to start I'll be back when it's finished so it took just a couple of minutes maybe a little less and as you can see the removal has been successful click close return here to sql server configuration manager click here to refresh and the sql 03 uh, instance has disappeared i'm going to do this again for the sql express uh, instance so same thing same process remove and it's not allowing me here to uh, to remove another instance or do anything because I need to restart my computer so I'm going to do just that so cancel this close this close this and then we start I'll be back when it's restarted now that my uh, system has restarted I'll go back to apps and features 
and open it scroll down to SQL Server Microsoft SQL Server and install and install yes remove bring this down now it's allowing me to do other operations so I'm going to remove the SQL Express instance click next select database engine service don't remove the uh, shared features and click next I'm going to open SQL Server Configuration Manager uh, I forgot to stop the instance so I'm going to stop it just now otherwise it's going to cause me some problems with the removal process I'm going to stop this one as well and in fact I'm going to stop everything refresh everything stopped okay now I can start removing the database engine or the SQL uh, Express instance click remove it's going to take uh, a couple of minutes I'll be back when it's done after a, a couple of minutes the SQL uh, Express instance has been removed so I can close it, close this now if I go back to the configuration manager refresh and as you can see the SQL Express uh, instance has disappeared so I'm left just with the MS SQL Server instance and that's what I wanted uh, to finish this operation just restart the machine and we will be good to go so this is how to remove a SQL Server instance or many instances. Thank you for watching.